This is the busiest border crossing in the country. Roughly 90,000 people cross the San Ysidro Port of Entry every day. But before they cross, they have to wait for a long, long time. It's not unusual to lose three hours waiting to cross the border. Tijuana residents who work in San Diego leave their homes as early as 5 a.m. to get to work on time. County Supervisor Nora Vargas says that all of this waiting costs a lot of money, and it keeps both San Diego and Tijuana from reaching their full potential. The economic potential of this region, I think, is really something that we haven't really maximized yet. I think there's so much unknown. The border region's best and brightest minds have spent decades trying and failing to make crossing the border more efficient. They realize now that they have to be more creative in their thinking. We needed to find ways to make easier to cross the border. So we need to in innovate, innovate. That was Kurt Hunold. He's the former mayor of Tijuana and is now the secretary of economy and innovation for the state of Baja California. He was one of dozens of academics, economists, business leaders, and government officials at a cross-border business forum last week hosted by the South County EDC. It was at this forum that Honold laid out a vision for alternative border crossings. One idea includes a special border crossing for people who ride the trolley. It's essentially the same thing as the popular cross-border express, or CBX. It's a border crossing exclusively for people who fly to and from the Tijuana airport. The trolley CBX, the trolley CBX, what that means is that we will have a bridge uh, in the Mexican side in San Isidro that will land at the, at the CBP um, uh, installations when the, the people are cross, and then they can go to the, to the, to the uh, trolley right away in order to reduce people that are making lines two to three hours every day. Another idea is for a ferry to take people from Ensenada directly to San Diego. Honol says it would take about two hours, but that's still faster than driving across. And these aren't just pie-in-the-sky ideas. Honol says that he's actively talking with private investors and government officials in San Diego. So we will have less people traveling in the, our highways, less people crossing, and less people also using the highways in the United States so, and in San Diego. So that, that, that and, and, and if that goes through, like we believe, uh, with the, we're working with the, already with the Port of San Diego to sign an MOU and see if we can do a test on the summer. Economists say that these innovations are especially needed now in an era of supply chain bottlenecks. Mexico imported $47 billion in goods to California in 2020 alone. Experts say that number could be even higher if trucks didn't have to wait so long at the border. Jim Dolan is the regional investment director at U.S. Bank. He says the pandemic showed us just how crippling supply chain disruptions can be. On the supply side, the story is supply chain, right? The disruptions of the supply chain due to uh, COVID, um, you know, the backlog of, of goods that just aren't reaching the demand, causing all of this inflation on top of that. Which is why he and others say that finding ways to shorten border wait times needs to be a top economic priority. Gustavo Solis, KPBS News.